thought I was good, I was good on my own, I was all right. Thought I was grown, and the strangers I'd known, they were all right. Thought that I knew everything, never wrong, I was all right. Oh, I was good, I was good on my own, I was all right. Oh, I lived a whole life thinking I knew how my heart could handle love. Oh, love, I thought I knew everything before us was stretching out my heart just so it could be big enough to be for two. Never understood why people always say love chooses you. Now I do. Now I do. Didn't ever think that I could ever say I promise you. And now I do. Now I do. Now I do. This is the road. We can see where it goes together. You are my home, and I know I can stay forever. Never understood why people always say love chooses you. Now I do. Now I do. Didn't ever think that I could ever say I promise you. And now. to be a time when I thought that I had nothing to lose. Now I do. Never understood why people always say love chooses you. Now I do. Didn't ever think that I could ever say I promise you. On May 4th, 2018, God made this presentation. And of all the places in the world to meet my wife, there you were on Instagram in the comment section. <laughs> and God was right. Your value is more precious than jewels and your worth is far more above rubies and pearls. June 18th, 2018 was the exact day you and I officially met. After that day, I knew there was a purpose for you in my life. I remember calling my great grandma and saying, Grandma, I found my husband, but you can't tell nobody. <laughs> if y'all don't believe me, y'all can ask yourself. As the days went on, I grew deeper and deeper in love with you. It was so scary because you were everything that I have ever prayed for, and here it was right in front of me. If I had 10 centuries, I don't believe I could unpack all the love that I have for you in my heart. So my promise to you before everyone here today is this, to totally trust and lean on God for understanding so that I can lead you down that narrow path that leads to life and whatever we can't give to each other here on this earth. God will provide that and more in perpetuity in eternity. I always thought it would be difficult finding someone to love me with all of my imperfections. But you show me each day that love can exist in seemingly imperfect people. Our journey has been a roller coaster, but I never would have wanted to endure the good and bad days with anyone but you. As you allow God to lead you throughout our marriage, I vow to always respect and honor you you as the priest of our home, 
I vow you to continue. I vow to continue to learn the intricacies of the man that you are. I promise to continue to involve, to be the best wife and one day mother of our family. I look forward to the work we will do together for the kingdom of God. The endless laughs we will share, laughing at only things that you and I understand. George, I want you to know that you are my divine helpmate, my perfect partner, and I promise to love you forever. We are at one of the best parts of this ceremony. I know you all are waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. With the union of hearts and minds, and by the laws of the state of Maryland for which I had gotten my license from as an ordained minister of the Church of God and under the mighty, almighty God, the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. With today and everything that you've done, man, you know, you started as a strong boy, you turned to a fragile man, but we can't have you being fragile anymore. You gotta take care of Michaela. You know, I love you wrong, right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm gonna hold you accountable to make sure that you're doing everything that you're supposed to do. If you ever get out of line, you know, I'm just a call away. I got your back. From the beginning, I lost count of how many times that she told you, told me that she was gonna marry you every day on the phone. That's my husband. And I knew it was, I knew it was your husband. I knew it. <laughs> and today he's your husband. Forever he is your husband. Okay? George, thank you for loving my best friend the way that you do. To George, it was a rough start. I know that. <laughs> The, jo the job you were interviewing for was an important one. You needed to know. I would give my life for her and you need to know. I didn't expect any less from you. Remember when I first met your mom? And I got to the point where I was deciding when to pop the question. Marrying her wasn't an issue. Just being your father is the only thing that I worry about. I wasn't raised by my father. How can I be to you what I never had? How can I teach you what I was never taught? I just pray that I... I did the best I can. I, I look at you today. And I know it's mission accomplished. Just looking at the woman you've become. I thank God for it. So, I wish you guys the best, and I, I truly, truly believe you will be the successful, happy. There's no limits to what you guys can achieve. Thank you. The only, only thing I wanted to do in my life, for my entire life that I'm conscious of, is make my, my daddy proud. So, Mr. Vic, to have you now, man, you don't even know, I look up to you. I respect you. I love what you've done with your daughter, man. Like you won me over. I said, you know, if he, if he's willing to ruin a relationship that he didn't even know me, he was like, nah, you gotta, you gotta explain this to me. And he gave me an opportunity to prove myself. And Kayla kept fighting as much as she could for me. And I just knew, I just knew I wanted to make you proud too. So I thank you for having me as your son. It means a lot. You got me some new grandmas. Love them. <laughs> <laughs>
but I'm, I'm proud to be here and I don't take this life. Thank you. I now pronounce to you for the first time in public, Mr. and Mrs. High. This right here, this right here, party of the year. Spot the champagne and put your hands in the air. You're getting higher than the lair, so let your problems disappear. All them haters in the rear, got designer on my gear. From mama crib to a beach house, cause we pay my dues through the cheap route. So now I know what them freaks about, and now I don't they speak about. Uh. Hesitation. I know you like that. I know you like that. Red bottom shoe with Louis V back. 